Looks like we've arrived. This is the way to the medical facility, right? You'll see. Let's keep going. an underground lake here. Tell me, where is the medical facility? It's not here. In fact, it never even existed in the first place. Uh, but I've seen people carried in here with my own eyes. Where could they have all gone? The answer is right in front of you. You need but open your eyes. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that they all drowned in this lake? No. They are just what you see before you. What's left when matter ceases to be matter. Perhaps the scale is throwing you off. Let me show you what I'm getting at. What? No way. So then, this entire lake is... Yes, all this is the Hollowing. I still don't follow, Miguel. What happened to your hand? And what is this Hollowing you speak of? This is what I wanted to show you, my lord. When a life form's drained of its astral energy, its physical form breaks down completely, a death leaving no physical remains. All that's left is a reflective substance, the only proof that matter once existed at all. That hollowing is the substance that fills this lake. This whole lake? How many people? How many Danans? 
You actually expect me to believe all that? That an astral arts illiterate Danon would know of this unseen atrocity? And that I, a Renan Lord, would have no knowledge? I have one last piece of evidence, Lord Doalim. This is a fruit of Helgen. The cause of all of this. What are you doing, Miguel? <coughs> Here is your proof, my lord. Proof of the bounds of your knowledge. Proof of the countless Dan and deaths under your watch. No, they were not merely deaths. Those Danans were completely erased. And now, the only testament is that lake of hollowing. <laughs> Nicole! Someone close to you is behind all of this. This person is amassing huge amounts of astral energy. You have to stop them. You're the only one who can prevent Menencia from returning to the living hell that it was once before. I beg you, for the future of the utopia you have created, please stop them. Don't let your dream die just as it's become a reality. Wait a minute, I... I don't know if I... Nicole! 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 Forgive me, Kisar. I'm sorry. It was the only way I could open his eyes. I didn't have much time left anyway. Please help our Lord Dolly to make our greatest dream a reality. Interrupted! 
all right? What was that just now? I understand this is a lot for you to take in, but Miguel trusted you. Impossible. I have no such power. <laughs> Truth be told, I never wanted this. I never wanted to be a lord. However, competing for a position in the crown contest was required of me, and in the process, I took the life of a dear friend. The life I took and the bloodshed, the hatred that it earned me. It was far more than I could ever bear. But the screams and tears of the slaves, they would reawaken my memories of that day. The memories of my friend's scream and the tears of the one who mourned him. I couldn't take it any longer. I didn't want to remember. So that's it? That's the real reason you freed the Danans? Just so you wouldn't have to listen to their screams? Wait. So everything you've done... Precisely. It was simply to distance myself from all the pain and death. All for my own selfish ends. And if it made everyone happy in the process, well then that was just an added benefit. Or perhaps I... I truly did believe in those ideals at one point. But living up to them was never my aim. Impossible. Your dream of coexistence? The ideals that you always championed? So you're saying that everything you stood for you're saying it was all just a self-obsessed lie? <laughs> Tell me it isn't true, Lord Dohalim. Because... Because my brother... My brother believed in you in your dream! Forgive me. So this... This is who you really are? <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! It's enough, Kisara! Let go! Stop! I'll tear him apart! I swear I'll... I'll... Are you trying to ignore your brother's dying wish? He entrusted you with his dream! Just kill me. I'm nothing. I am but a shell of a man now. I'm just a pitiful coward who shrank from his duties. I would only ask that you make it quick. This man... This is the person my brother died for. And for what? For what? I change my mind! You feeling any better? Yeah, a little. Thanks. What are we gonna do now? I still have unfinished business with Dohalim. He's a world away from the Lord Balsef was. 
There's no need for us to fight him, Xion. In case you've forgotten, I Guys, don't... guys! I think something's going on outside. Kisara! There you are! What's happening? Kelvalik has started an insurrection. He's driving all of the Danans out of the palace. What? Has he lost his mind? What about Lord Dohalim? We don't know where he is, Captain. We thought... We thought maybe you would. No, I don't. I haven't seen him since we were inside the quarry. Damn. Well, either way, I wouldn't go near the palace. Any suspected Renan sympathizers are being arrested on sight. This whole thing is a powder keg about to explode. Best prepare for the worst. I guess not all of the Renans here like the idea of coexisting with the Danans after all. So this is it. This is the real Menensia. Are you giving up? On what? This realm is already finished. It perished along with my brother's dream. That's a shame. And I guess all the people who believed in that dream are on their own out there, aren't they? Not all of the Renan sided with Kelzalik. There's still hope, Kisara. Your brother's dream is only dead when there's nobody left who believes in it. Am I wrong? You're right. I'm going to the palace. I need to see what's happening there with my own eyes. Uh, what are you all doing? I thought it was pretty clear. We're coming with you. I appreciate the thought, really. But there's no need for you all to get involved in this. Tohalim said it himself, right? All of us, we're liberators. Thank you. Will things be okay in the city? I'm concerned about that as well. But for now, let us get to the palace. Right. We best clamp down on things at the source before they get out of control. The fact the enemy's holding themselves up tells me they're not exactly happy to see us. Then we'd better go in prepared for whatever welcome we get.